Well, on that, on that point, an attack on the U.K. is an attack on NATO. With that said, you don't wait until, you know, things get really bad to start talking about your scenarios. So what would the U.S. and the NATO nations altogether, what would they be talking about in terms of their options to actually confront Iran if things continue to get, go down this path? Well, look, I don't think Iran's interested in a war. They wouldn't be stockpiling these chips if they were planning on, you know, going to the bunkers. You know, they are trying to put pressure on us. And the way to counter that pressure is very simple. This is not an Article 5 situation. We don't have to go to war here. All we have to do is keep the straits open and protect the shipping. We can do that. The United States just announced that it's increasing its air cover over U.S. flag tankers. Other people need to jump in. Together, we have more than enough capacity to keep the straits open and deter the Iranian boats from coming out. And that's what we should have been doing. We should have been doing that last week. And really, shame on the Europeans for just not stepping up b before it became more of a dire situation. So, you're, so, are, you so, so are you saying they America should not yeah. have a plan for that? Well, the there's a very limited things a ship can do. First of all, they can't see these things. They, they're, it's just a big thing floating through the water. And, and uh, so they, they don't know they're approaching. Once they approach and take offensive action against them, you, you, can't, you can't do maneuvers with an oil tanker. Um, you can pretty much go in one direction. J so once, once they get there, they're trapped. James, just to build a little bit on what Jackie said, short-term memory loss is obviously a great boon to debating the current morass that's going on in the, in the Persian Gulf. But... There was a deal in place, as bad as it was, that actually had the support of a whole phalanx of allies that we unilaterally said, okay, we're just not going to go with anymore, rather than implementing it further, renegotiating, working with allies to create a more cohesive policy. So now we're left with a deal that the Europeans in, a deal that we're not in, and all this you know, ticky-tack escalation of tensions between drones and tankers that was not going on a year and a half ago. So exactly well, how are we in a better place? Well, here's the problem with that. You had a deal that wasn't working. That's like giving somebody a pill that won't cure their cancer, but uh, it's cheap. You know, th that just to help. say that doesn't so, mean that it's no, true. You know, well, th there are many... Except, uh, well, I'm sorry. The well, Atomic Energy Commission well, thought the deal finish. was working. Except, well, let me finish. Except it is true. And then your second point is also wrong because the United States went back to the European allies and they said, listen, work with us on putting together a better deal and we won't pull out and the Europeans didn't do that. So we are where we are because the policies weren't working and standing up to Iran is better than just letting them run wild. And the fact that they are doing absolutely you know, those are not those are not the only two those are not the only two sides of the equation. Illegal, and just just because you say it doesn't make it actions. true. Just com <laughs> well, I'm sorry. It is true. But the point is, is Iran Great. is taking completely illegal actions. It is an irresponsible actor. It shot down an Should American drone in international airspace and it's doing piracy. Well, there you go. Okay, everybody.